This BMC Helix Control M video shows how to create audit reports in Control M and how to enable annotation. In Control M, you can create audit reports to show you which actions or updates were made when and by whom. To create an audit report, we go to Tools and then Reports. This opens the Control M Reports tool in a new tab. We will create a new report, so we click the plus report button and then select Add New Report. Now, under the active report type, we select Audit and click Add. The new definition for the audit report is displayed. We can change the name of the new report, for example to Demo Audit 1. Next, we need to specify the filters, which will define what data the reports will show. Let's say we want this report to show one week's worth of information, so we can set the time range to last 7 days. In Audit Type, we can specify the type of audit we want to run. Here we can select what category of audit information we want in this report. We will choose Active Network, which audits job actions such as hold, free, rerun, and event and resource activities. For this type we can even specifically select which action we want to report on, but for now we'll keep the default, all. We can now open the preview pane and click refresh to get a preview of what the report will look like. Note that this will show live data but will not be complete. The preview only shows a small portion of the data available. We see the report will show us which user performed what action at what time, and whether they were authorized to do that. We would like to add some more information though, as we cannot see which job the action was performed on. We can click on the columns tab to define which fields will be shown in the report. We add folder name, job name, and run ID, and then refresh the preview again. Now we can see that data was added. We are happy with the way the report looks, so we continue to save the report, and then we can click generate to run the actual report. Several output formats are available such as PDF and CSV. We select PDF. Shortly after, a download of the report will start so we can save the report to our local computer. Now, let's say that for certain types of actions, for example when rerunning or deleting a job, we want users to add a note about why they are performing this operation. For that, we can enable annotation. To enable annotation, while logged in as an admin user, go to Configuration, System Settings. Here, under System Settings you will find the annotation settings. For Activity Type, we select Active Job Operations, as this is the category that includes rerunning and deleting jobs. Then we click Save. Now if we go back to monitoring and try to perform an action on a job like rerunning it, we see that now we are asked to provide an annotation, to explain why we are doing this. Now let's move back to the report we created earlier. We can now add the annotation description and annotation note columns, so that it will display these entries in the audit report. When we refresh the preview, we will see the annotation we just entered. That concludes this BMC Helix Control M Solutions video. Please see our YouTube channel for more videos like this.